America is not a racist country. Ladies and gentlemen, there was an incident that occurred in Westfield, New Jersey. Now, there's a lawsuit going on because two New Jersey officers witnessed a cop ticket a black motorist, but he let a white motorist drive off. And his excuse was, he was nice. Well, after these officers reported the discrimination to the department, they start retaliating against them. That sounds like the American police, you know? You report an officer. See, this is why technically they can never be good because the few that try to report it, they always get harassed or ran off the job. And the perpetrator of the whole thing, they get to stay. It's the great American way. Two New Jersey police officers are suing their department for alleged retaliation after they complained about a fellow cop engaging in blatant racism. Both officers have made history in diversity equity and inclusion in the department, but say they have still experienced discrimination and that the department has systematically punished them for speaking out about discriminatory practices within the force. On Friday, March 25th, Officer Preston Freeman, a Black sergeant in the Westfield Police Department and only African-American on the force for his first 15 years, and Lieutenant Nicole Stivo, the highest ranking female officer um, in the force's history, filed a lawsuit in Superior Court in Union County, alleging retaliation and discrimination. A 19-page complaint obtained by the Atlanta Black Star was submitted on the behalf of Freeman's and Stivel by attorney Robert Ballard several weeks after. This was uh, several weeks after. They were actually suspended for reporting this cop that was being a complete racist. So they got suspended without pay. Now, isn't it amazing? A cop can go out here and kill somebody and they'll get placed on paid administrative leave. And then when you complain about that, they say it's procedure, right? It's pro I heard that multiple times. No, 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 it's procedure, right? But these two, as they say, African-American officers made a complaint and they were suspended without pay for reporting racism. They were suspended without pay. I want y'all to think about that. But if an officer kill one of us unarmed, they go on paid administrative leave. Their superiors hit them with 10 charges claiming they violated departmental and internal affair procedures and departmental rules and regulation when they wrote up a fellow officer for treating traffic offenders differently based on the color of their skin. Their lawsuit states, these uh, trumped up and baseless charges were issued by a defendant in direct retaliation to the plaintiff's complaint regarding unlawful behavior, as well as the uh, discriminatory amnesty towards Sergeant Freeman and Stavell because of their inclusion in protected categories. When recalling the January 29, 2021 incident that sparked the charges, the lawsuit said that the white male officer named Christopher for 
uh, so, I'm sorry, Christopher Forsenito was assigned to the work. Uh, he was on night shift along with the two officers that reported him. The three were serving between 11 p.m. and 3 a.m. However, based on uh, rank, he was actually the, the white officer. He was actually a higher ranking officer. All right. And uh, while patrolling, the two officers said they observed their white colleagues stop a black male on East Broad Street for speeding and failure to keep right. As a result, the officer issued the transgressing motorist a summons for driving with an expired license. Later during the shift, the same officer stopped a white male who was driving 65 miles an hour on East Broad Street. Okay, the limit, yeah, I've been on East Broad Street in that area. You can only go 25 miles an hour. And he was going 65, y'all. So the speed limit there, 25 miles an hour. And that's true because I have been in that area before. However, he did not give him a summons, only giving him a verbal warning before letting him go. Okay, so he was going 40 miles an hour faster than what he should have been going and he let him go for that <laughs> okay when sergeant freeman questioned the officer about the discrepancy in his discretion the lawsuit states for Sinito responded by stating that he did not have to issue a ticket for speeding and that the driver was a nice guy. You know what? I don't know why white people keep telling us who's a nice person and a nice guy. Let me just tell y'all straight up. We don't care about that. We never cared about it. We don't know why you keep saying this to us as if we should care. We don't care. If somebody is doing us wrong, we don't care that you come up out of nowhere and tell us that's a nice person. We don't give a rat's behind about that. Nor are we going to give it any consideration after you've said it. We don't care who you consider a nice guy. So let's move on. Freeman and Stavell. They were asking the officer to write up a report sharing why he chose to give one a summons and not the other, despite both drivers making egregious traffic violations. He refused. In response to his insubordination, Freeman and Stavell filed a supervisory complaint of racial profiling against the officer for his behavior that night. The lawsuit states that there was no investigation conducted into the actions of Officer Forsenito and that it constituted uh, racial profiling and or racially influenced policing. Instead, the two became targets. Within days of reporting for Sinito, instead of seeing a follow-up on the discrimination allegations play out, Savelle was told by the top brass that she was the target of an internal investigation because she acted inappropriately when she suspended the officer for racial profiling. Progressively, so in other words, this is an officer they favored, okay? So you're now a target. Progressively, the force started complaining that the two engaged in unlawful behavior while on duty. So they start, um, so it wasn't just the top brass, but the whole department turned on these two officers that reported the racial profiling. The whole department did. 
The lawsuit alleges that these allegations were in retaliation for them speaking up. This was the tip of the iceberg. The lawsuit afforded Freeman the space to speak out over a decade's worth of discrimination he has endured as a minority on the force. In detail, the claim shows a history of acts that singled out Sergeant Freeman in ways that seem to be based on his race. The lawsuit alleges in 2007, his superiors refused to give him a patrol car when he was assigned to a downtown district. When he complained to other officers who were white, were allowed to drive cars, and the 49-year-old was told, according to the lawsuit, driving a police vehicle was for them and this walking is for you. I I know sometimes I wonder why, first of all, I don't even know why a a black man (laughs) in America even want to be a cop. But if you are going to be a cop, you should know this comes with the territory. You are working within an organization that started out of slavery when somebody like you would never have been allowed on the force. And many of these officers, the reason why they are discriminating against you, because they really don't want you there at all. So, I mean, I, I just don't understand why so many are still there. After all the killings, it's not like it's stopping the killing of unarmed people in the community. You know, when you join the police department, it is a culture. It is a culture that began centuries ago. And one person from different communities going in is not going to change the culture. Okay, and quite frankly, being that, you know, we see all of these unarmed killings of black men, your politicians, they see this too. They could easily change. Now, a lawmaker technically could change the culture of policing, but in America, they choose not to do it. They're okay with seeing us fall at the hands of police. Okay, and I had some idiot come over here talking about some comply. We already been there and done that. Don't come with that old lame ass comply crap. You know damn well, complying does not do a thing for a black man if a cop is hell bent on targeting him and killing him. That's why I blocked your ass. So anyway, um... So he also complained about um, the promotions that went on and how they tried to throw out exams. And Freeman actually did do an exam to get a higher ranking position. He had the second highest score in the department and his results were thrown out. Well, this is something they do even when it's not the police department. I mean, my uncle down in Florida told me a similar thing that happened to him. You know, he had to fight to get a higher position because they were doing a similar thing. You know, if certain people that they saw as undesirable scored high on the exam, they would try to find ways to exclude you or pretend like they can't find your results. They used to play that game. So anyway, um, the chief made false claims about the validity of the test that he actually passed and further stated that he would not promote any officers off the exam list. So he took the exam, got the second highest score, and this chief denied him a higher ranking position, although the fact that he passed shows that he was eligible. 
So Friedman hired a lawyer and threatened to sue if the test results were discounted. The threat prompted uh, the chief to reluctantly promote Sergeant Freeman to the position of sergeant. The lawsuit alleges that the promotion was the nexus to a litany of bigoted treatment the officer experienced. So, you know, he was subjugated to um, racism and many people in that department at Westfield, New Jersey, played a part in the discrimination. And now he's filing a lawsuit because of the discrimination he faced um, reporting a race soldier. But the corruption is knee deep in policing in America, and it will always be this way. They could have changed the culture of policing in America a thousand times, and they chose not to do it. They like things the way that it is, ladies and gentlemen. It doesn't matter if you comply. It don't matter if you rail against it. The result is always the same when they're dealing with us. So don't let them try to talk about all that comply because what they're trying to do is shift the blame onto someone else. And don't ever let them pull that off, ever. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.